spreading joy and making a difference one meal at a time. We'll spotlight some incredible New Yorkers we love, and you will too. Right after the break, Joelle, I love you. I'm so if there's been one bright light these past two years, it's been seeing the spirit of New York in action in some amazing ways. Yeah, it has. So I caught up with our pal Sherelle Starr to highlight a few local business owners making a difference every single day. Watch this. Sherelle Starr is a lifestyle expert covering what she calls the three F's, fashion, finding your way, and foster care. So when she asked us if we wanted to highlight some New Yorkers giving back, we were all in. Sherelle, on our show, we know you as an incredible fashion expert, but I know that your story goes way beyond that. Yes, I, so you know I was in foster care when I was younger, and um, I do a lot of advocacy talking about foster care and really trying to change the foster care's just sort of community. Um, but I also was just recently featured in Humans of New York, and the community just loved on me nonstop, just giving me this positivity and great vibes. So I wanted to share that with other organizations as well. And so what are we doing today? So today we're actually here here at CNB Cafe, which is an awesome cafe on the Lower East Side. It's owned by Ali Sahin, and he is an amazing baker, an amazing businessman, but just amazing to his people and the community. Yeah, and I know today that we are featuring New Yorkers giving back, and I know that he did in a really big way, especially during the pandemic. He did, he did. So at the height of the pandemic, when everything was really scary and people were really worried about getting sick, Ali sent all his employees home and continued to pay them throughout the pandemic. And then when things got a little tight, he started a GoFundMe account to see if he could get additional money to keep paying his employees so that they can, you know, have everything they need at home. And guess what? The community rallied behind him and he raised $25,000 to keep paying his employees, keep CNB Cafe open, which is known as the heartbeat of the Lower East Side. I love that. This is, this, what a great pick. Okay, well, you can't bring me to a bakery and not get baked goods. We definitely can't. So let's go inside and grab some stuff. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> This is the most famous cookie in New York City. That is the most famous cookie in New York City? What's it called? The Wait, chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to decide? I don't know. This one was staring me at the That face. looks yummy like a popover. Yes. Sometimes just a, a regular croissant does. Yes. The Wait, did we pick the same? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is oh, good. good. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. Cheers to you. Cheers to New Yorkers giving back. Yes. This is incredible. Okay, Sherelle, now we have made our way to Chinatown. So who are we highlighting here? We are highlighting two amazing ladies, Moonlin Tsai and Yin Chang. They started Heart of Dinner in 2015 as a supper club, but pivoted during the pandemic. So their supper club was all about bringing people together to have culturally relevant conversations. But with the pandemic, they really wanted to make sure that the most vulnerable in their community didn't feel left out and knew that they were loved. So they actually started delivering meals to the elderly in Chinatown and around the city. And they delivered more than 100,000 meals since they started. Wow, 100,000 meals. 100,000 meals, and they've got all of the community really involved. So they've got volunteers who help pick up food, sort food, donate food, as well as drop it off. And they also do handwritten notes, again, so that the people who are receiving these meals know that they are people who care about them. Sherelle, thank you so much. I know you wanted to highlight New Yorkers doing good. You absolutely did. And right here, I'm looking at a New Yorker doing good, too. Oh, thank you for having me on. New Yorkers are incredible, and I think that, you know, this city saw, I mean, you know it, you, you were here the whole time, the city saw so much, but like silver linings are, they're, they're really everywhere. I don't ever get tired of hearing those stories and that people are still doing things to give back and help others because the city still needs it, but it is coming back stronger, so things to look forward to. I love you. I love you. <laughs>